The debate on the appropriate age to teach children about technology is hardly new. There are a range of products and apps designed specifically for toddlers and young children today. I think programming is kind of like the 21st century literacy and, and, and in the same way we learn to speak English, our kids should be learning to speak to the computers because computers are such a huge part of our society nowadays and like be it whatever your industry or, or field may end up being in the, in the future, like internet and software is definitely going to be changing the way it works. So giving computer science and, and sort of the tools uh, tools of code only to a certain group of, of people is, is kind of very limiting and ends up making the web uh, very monotonous. So, so seeing a more diverse internet and, and uh, more, more diverse world as, an, as a result is, is kind of like the, the background. Linda Lucas's forthcoming book, Hello Ruby, make ideas around computer programming accessible to children aged 4 to 7. We learn through narratives in early childhood a lot. Like some of the most foundational stories that I've learned read as a child, child kind of still affect the way I see the world or perceive things or, or what career choices I made. And I, I think uh, we teach our kids how, how engines work and how how fire stations work, but we don't teach them how computers work. And that's kind of a kind of a pity. This is a book that is should be read by the parents and, and workbook should be worked together with the parents. So so it's kind of interactive. So not sitting alone by the screen, uh, mm-hmm. but working together with the parent. And that's why I, I wanted to make also a storybook, but the parent, parental element is very involved in this. Moving away from books, there are coding classes also available for kids to learn the basics, like Robo Club of Delhi, which introduces children aged 6 to 16 years to robotics using kits like Lego Mindstorms and conduct sessions once a week. It's not to teach children a certain technology or a certain software. Uh, it's to teach them to think algorithmically because by the time they're older, the technology that they're using right now will be obsolete. So, you know, we want them to think, be able to um, de- simplify a problem into simple steps and, uh, you know, solve it like that. So we introduce programming in a play way. The experience of making this dancing bunch was very exciting. We made with the, some plates, beams and excels and we put them together to make this bunch. Parents are now starting to buy into the idea of introducing young children to concepts around programming without forcing them to learn these by heart or even fully understand them immediately. We usually have kids staying for more than the class. You know, if a class is two hours, they don't want to leave because it's not just about building. They build, first they design, then they build, program, and then they see their creation come to life. So it's a completely different feeling when you, you've seen what you've created and we're making kids feel that they too can be a part of creating technology. What I hope that the kids take away from the book is, is that they understand that software is about expression and, and creativity and, and sort of practical application because I know I think that like a lot of the tools we use nowadays teach programming to kids focus very much on logic and math and, and sort of the uh, programming as a means to an and uh, programming as, a, as a, like a science almost. And for many people, they don't become real programmers, but they should be able, able to use code as a tool uh, to like, achieve the things that they want to be achieving. So, so that, that's like the number one thing that I feel like they should feel that technology is this magical world and there's a lot of expression, creativity and yeah, practical application.